I've um I've been doing stand up comedy that long, but I've noticed like when you when you do it, you go around. Most of the people are young guys like you, you guys, you know, guys who are still got hope. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so I I thought you know some of my material didn't really, really relate, so I, I started. I needed to um, do some research on young people, but. You know, I like to go to bed about 8.30, so I wasn't going to come out and hang out in bars and stuff like that with you guys. Um, so what I did, I started like um, scrolling, like surfing on Foxtel, you know Foxtel, and I've, I've discovered this show called Geordie Shaw. <laughs> yeah, have you seen it? Yeah. yeah, it's like, you need to um, you need to have Foxtel to see it. And I, I do realise like in stand-up comedy circles, you know, you need to be employed, and stand-up comedy and employment don't necessarily go hand in hand. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've seen this show, Geordie Shaw, and I've watched so much of it, it's kind of changed my life, I've become addicted. You know, you've got that, um, it's, a, it's an interesting concept, you've got the, like eight people, and they're in a house, and like, for me, in my generation, it'd be Big Brother, but this is better, because in Big Brother, you, you vote people out, and they leave, but in Geordie Shaw, no one ever leaves. They just, <laughs> they just stay, and... And I don't know really what they do, like, they sort of most of the day, they kind of hang around, they, they preen and they, they do their hair and they put fake tan on and they wax and maybe sometimes they might bleach their assholes. Um, <laughs> well, like, the guys do that. I don't know really what The girls, I don't know what the girls do. They, they like, you know, they eat cake and so I've, I've heard one of them talk about a vagina. And, uh, but that's, like, that's just a precursor, like, that's just... You know, in the day, because at night, it's at night when it gets really good. It's because they all go out and they get mauled, right? <laughs> you, do you know what that is like to young people? Like, it's like, it's when you get drunk, you know, you get mauled, and they get, they get so mauled, they get more mauled than anyone's ever been mauled before, right? And they go out, and then, and then I think what the goal of the night is, like the person who gets the most mauled at the end will sort of go down like this, go uh, uh, like that, and another one will come over the top and go, ah! Into their into their mouth, like like sort of like a deranged pelican. Like, <laughs> I know, I know, it's brief. And um, and like I watch so much of this show now that it's actually I'm sort of like starting to make money off it because I've watched so much of Geordie Shaw that my IQ is now at such a level that I can claim um, benefits from Centrelink <laughs> for being mentally retarded. <laughs> so no, no, it's true. And. Um, yeah, so, and there was a couple of things, like normally I'd have this written down, but we'll do this, like, quick. But one quote out of Geordie Shaw that's kind of, it's resonated with me and it's probably resonated with you guys, and it's from my favourite cast member, her name's Charlotte, right? And she's sitting, she's sitting there, like, and the cameras, all the cameras are on her, right? Like that, and it's the day after the mortal thing and the, and the deranged <laughs> pelican thing. And so she's sort of like hung over and she's, she's there and she's, she's looking and someone's cooking bacon and they've got the cameras on the bacon, cameras on Charlotte, cameras on bacon, and, and it goes straight up and it pans in on her and she goes, Ooh, that bacon looks so good. I just want to rub it on my clip. <laughs> <laughs> <That's me. laughs> Give it up for Peter. Oh, yeah. I, um, this is a bit... <laughs>